Right, hi. Just skirted the White Horse Woods through from Trosley Country Park. Just skirted the edge of Bag Bagel's Camp Farm. On a spot. Uh, some lovely spots along there. Um, quite a lot of dead wood. The path is absolutely sodden with so much rain. But uh, just come to the crossways of the track that takes us towards Holly Hill, that direction. You see it's a nice sunny day, winds a bit sharp but nothing drastic. This is a nice big open space. It looks right out across the wheel of Kent. Beautiful day, beautiful weather after quite a damp start. Gonna head on to Holly Hill now and um, then through to Cutters Ridge. I might stop up there and get some dinner. Alright, back to you later. Right, just stopped at Cutters Ridge, having a bite to eat, or will do in a minute. Old jet boils on the go, Got some uh, army rations, with sweet and sour chicken, some rice on the go. Beautiful little spot, nice bit of fir tree over there, and a big slope down into the valley. Rochester Forest this is, been looking for this path for ages and it's just, just over there. But that section's all obstructed, so that's why I could never find it before. But a lovely little spot. Lots of little dumps to sit on. Could be a nice little spot to camp in over there. Um, have to look at that a little bit later. Anyhow, going to get some scram on the go. Bye for now. Well, that was delicious. Coffee's in the old jet boil. That's a great piece of kit. Um, Seven or eight minutes, rice and sweet and sour chicken, army packs, done, cut, mixed up, thoroughly eaten by now, but really tasty. No washing up either, right, well, make another coffee in that later on. Just parked here on one of these little reflective mats, got to be a bit careful folding them up, they, they puncture or tear quite easily, but in case of just wanted to sit down quickly, something nice and warm, don't soak any body heat away, really fantastic. So I've got a ground sheet on the back of my bag but I don't really need that, just for a quick stop. And again, just checking in the peace and quiet really, a couple of buzzards floating around 10 minutes ago. But, uh, haven't seen a cell by one man and his dog about an hour ago. Um, Really peaceful. Another venture over there a bit, uh, bit later just to see if there's any likely spots for camping. Close to the tracks, it's just past that stump there. Um, it's not a very well used track, so I might just look a bit further on there. It's quite well screened. Oh, it's nice open and light that side. Um, not much wind either. Beautiful clear day, as you can see. Um, no, not even a shower. All the earlier tracks were absolutely sodden. Anyhow, I'm gonna have my coffee and have a little mooch about. Back later. Smashing little stand here for a camp all the night. Nice flat section. Slopes off a little bit down there. Up tight to the farmer's field here, but nobody gets up there. Nice, nice and flat. Uh, log to sit on if you want to. Uh, sleep rider in there. Nice soft ground actually. Uh, all in that space there. A few, few options available. And fairly, fairly discreet. Again, yeah, there's a few more stands over that way. Uh, nice and level. Um, 
for the amount of cover. Not too windy, are they? At the moment, anyway. Trackway is just there, but again, don't know how often people use it. Bags over there, if you can see it, it's still a way away. See the space in this, not too far away from what I pitched up for, for my lunch. Plenty of tinder as well floating around, a lot of fir tree, pine, I don't have a lot of dry stuff to get a bit of a fire going. Even if I only use the bushcraft stove or honey stove, that's a good bit of kit. Um, a bit of fiddly setting up, once it's up it does not chuck out some heat. The hive extension is really good as well. I have to get the camera on it sometime when I get a minute and I'm using it. Um, yeah, just going to pack up now, get myself on the way. And another stop off at Cousendon Woods, I think. Let's see, if, see how time goes. Get a bit of a fire going. So, it's the old bag there. It's a burger I picked up ages ago. It's about 60 litres, I think, with the side pouches on. Very comfy. Um, about 34, 35 pounds weight in there with water at the moment, but hey ho, keeps the weight off, and uh, the MTP smocks I picked up very cheap, brand new, um, keeps the wind out, just means I've got a thin thermal on, and absolutely toasty, but yeah, last look before we go, and uh, back here, again, I'm just going to time how long it gets to, back to, to take me to get back home from here, so I'm going to do a stealthy one, I can actually turn out, pitch up, at the last minute sort of thing. Back out. I just come off Cotter's Ridge. Um, this lovely view. Shaded a lot into the woods but obviously. Beautiful day, nice fresh breeze. Uh, no sunshine out at the moment. Uh, beautiful view there to down cold. Beautiful old building that and the church. Um, stones at the top. I can't imagine why they put a bench there. It's uh, probably well everybody who climbs that hill. Anyhow, I'll have a quick mouthful of water and then crack on. See you later. Hi, just arrived in Cousendon Woods uh, from Cutters Ridge Woods now. A uh, lovely day in here, very peaceful. We've got the, the famous caves down here. Um, not sure what the origin is, I know Beginning Bushcraft had them on his video. Um, never found them myself till a few weeks back. But um, quite deep, quite uh, extensive, interesting sort of excavations. Um, going quite away under those trees and particularly under that one. Um, but, uh, what's keeping that up really? It's very light and bright in there. Um, so there's the sun shining in at the moment, but I uh, can't see where that one goes to really. And there's another one right under my feet there. Right, I'm going to find myself a little spot to have a brief, and I'll 
catch it then. Well, a cup of tea on a go with the old bushcraft stove, uh, wood gas stove, um, MSR kettle, just about boiling, and uh, just got a UK hammocks hammock chair set up. Uh, first time I've used used the hammock. It's a bit interesting. Um, well, the cord snapped first time, which I think is more to do with my weight than to do with the cordage. I'll have to look at a heavier gauge bit of cord on it, but and uh, practice my nuts as well. Okay, I'm going to get my cup of tea before it drowns the fire, and uh, it's getting on now, about four o'clock ish, the light's starting to go. Um, get my cup of tea, sit by the fire for a bit, and then head on home. Alright, bye for now.